A Texas bill meant to block COVID-19 vaccine mandates for employers has failed in the state legislature. Because it turns out that the business community actually really, really likes vaccine mandates. So let me give you the details. The Texas House's version of the bill was unable to muster enough support to be voted out of committee. The Senate's proposal pushed by Senator Brian Hughes was quickly pushed out of committee, but did not have the votes for approval by the whole chamber. Now why? Turns out that more than two dozen medical, I mean, they don't really care that much about the medical, but business advocacy groups <laughs> quickly criticized SB 51, pushing back against the legislation in the days after it was introduced last week. Hughes filed the bill after Texas Governor Greg Abbott asked lawmakers last week to take up the issue to ensure Texans aren't required to get vaccinated, saying that vaccines are safe, effective, and our best defense against the virus, but should remain voluntary and never forced. Well, the business community disagrees with that because they don't have liability protection. So if a bunch of their workers end up getting sick with COVID, if some of their workers die as a result of COVID spreading in the workplace, well, they're susceptible to lawsuits, which they don't, they don't wanna deal with. And of course, they wanna get workers back into the workplace and they wanna make sure that their workers are healthy in order to do their job. So they love vaccine mandates. In fact, that was a common topic of conversation when I debated Ben Shapiro over at the Pennsylvania Chamber of Commerce. They were pretty transparent about the fact that they favored vaccine mandates. So now it's fascinating to see these right wing governors, you know, kind of waver or struggle to find their next COVID related culture war issue to delve into because they don't wanna go against their corporate donors. They don't wanna go against the business community. The business community wants the vaccine mandates. So there's this funny guy, State Senator Kel Seliger from Amarillo. And he's got two quotes that I like. So now they were all tough guys, right? Oh yeah, we're no managing in Texas. Texas is about freedom, okay? We're gonna allow any stinking mandates in Texas, right? And then Seliger says, quote, we're getting a tremendous amount of communications from the business community saying that this is their job. They set the rules and working conditions in their place of business. So all of a sudden, freedom went out the window. Nobody gives a damn about freedom when the guys giving you campaign contributions all of a sudden show up and just go, hey, hey Seliger, uh, Patrick, Abbott, uh, Cruz, all of you down in Texas, I think you forgot who the boss is. We're the boss, you shut up and do as you're told. And so then Seliger says, um, I've got some real reservations. Oh, He does now, all of a sudden he's got reservations. So I got some real reservations because I think it's another example of big government. Oh, that's hilarious. So wait, you didn't want the vaccines being mandated because that was big government. Mm-hmm. And now you're saying they should be mandated by business because otherwise it'd be big government. Which one is it? It's amazing. They just flipped the talking point on its head. Yeah, exactly. Because they don't care. It's a punchline to them. Oh God, I feel so sad for the Republican voters because they think you're such schmucks. All they have to do is say hashtag freedom. And you go running like a puppy dog. So they go, oh yeah, vaccine mandates suck. You go, freedom, freedom, freedom. They say, oh, help big business do mandates on you. Freedom, freedom. Wait, what? And they don't even say, wait, what? They don't even say it. It's so sad. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Uh, The government implementing vaccine mandates to keep you healthy and safe, bad. That's bad. But your boss, enforcing vaccine mandates because he wants you back in the mines, that's good. That's, That's essentially what they're saying. They don't want to go against the business community. So again, they're realizing now, damn, now I got to figure out what the next COVID related culture war issue is going to be because I got to you know, deflect or distract my voters or constituents from anything related to the economy and how we're screwing them over. That, that's really what's happening here. And by the way, I love the, the point that you just mentioned, Jenk, because you go over to Arkansas and you see something very similar with uh, Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson, who uh, was asked a decent question uh, by Chuck Todd. So let's hear what the question is and how he responded to it. We got some evidence here that mandates work. Let me show you some statistics in your state. On August 1st, 36% of the state 
was fully vaccinated. After the vaccine mandate was announced and you had companies like Tyson's and Walmart in your state essentially announced their own vaccine mandates. Vaccine acceptance went up 30%, got 46% of the state now. Is that not evidence that the mandates by Tyson's and Walmart have had an impact? Well, absolutely, it does indicate that, and it's not just there, but our healthcare workers, uh, uh, many of our hospitals have put in a requirement for vaccines, and the rate goes up. So, yes, there is an effectiveness there. And so, let me make it clear that when I say I don't believe we ought to be engaging in mandates, I'm speaking of uh, the government mandates, whether it's a federal government mandate or a state government mandate. And the states are sometimes coming in and saying, employers should not have the ability to impose a vaccine requirement on their workers. That okay. was amazing. No, no, but guys, I understand the extra layer of absurdity. The biggest part of the federal mandate was saying government workers have to get vaccinated. Exactly. Now, when you say, okay, Walmart workers have to get vaccinated, they go, that's awesome. Federal workers, same exact situation, your boss saying, federal workers, awful, I can't believe they took their freedom away. They took their freedom away. Your stinking boss tells you to get vaccinated and now you've got to, this is an outrage. Walmart does the same exact thing, they're like, bravo. Way to go, Walmart, that's how you take freedom away. That's, I mean, which leads to more freedom. And remember, Biden's vaccine mandate mostly only applied to like government workers, right? They're the ones who actually had an effective vaccine mandate. They couldn't opt out unless there were very specific health reasons or maybe even religious reasons. But in terms of like the OSHA component of it, it only applied to companies with 100 employees or more and employees could still opt out as long as they submit to regular COVID testing. But they could still opt out. It wasn't in any way a generalized vaccine mandate impacting everyone. So they were against what Biden was doing. But now all of a sudden, they're totally in favor of private companies implementing their own vaccine mandate. It's the same thing. It's the boss telling the workers you have to get vaccinated. Remember the guy yelling at Lindsey Graham saying, I work for the military now. And they're telling me because of the federal government, I gotta get vaccinated. But if you worked at Walmart, the same exact thing would happen. And then that same dumbass would turn around and go, yeah, that's right, man. I'm so glad my boss at Walmart made me get vaccinated. I way to mandate it, because that means freedom. Look, guys, I'm asking you, I'm not telling you you're unintelligent, I'm asking you. Like, I know why your politicians do it. If you didn't get it by now, every Republican politician is owned by corporations. They donate to them, and then they own them. You Don't you know that? Wasn't that what Drain the Swamp was about? So now are you gonna be against the Walmart mandates and rip into Texas Republicans and Arkansas Republicans? Or are you gonna realize, oh, you've been had, you've been duped. There was nothing wrong with mandates in the first place. All these guys work for the people who sign their checks. It's all about corruption. If you're looking for who rigged the system, don't look down, look up. And in the case of the government, it's not that big, uh, government owns big business. That's not, you got it completely backwards. Big business owns big government, okay? And they, they tell whether it's Democratic politicians or Republican politicians, shut up, boy, and do as you're told. And you just saw it with the guys who claim to be the toughest conservatives in the country, Texas Republicans. And the minute the corporation said, Sit down and do as you're told. They said, <laughs> and they did exactly as they were told. So that's who those bitches are. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.